right, today we have something crazy. We have no idea what to expect. It is the... Sarasota Medieval Fair. Yeah, and I don't know. I, I don't even know what we're going to get ourselves <laughs> it's into. It's kind of, if you guys know like what a Renaissance Fair is, it's that type of thing with like vendors and shows and events and all themed with the medieval times. Right. I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Here's where you can get some tickets, but if you already have tickets, then you can come right up here to the entrance. We bought ours online, so we can pass the ticket line. This place is huge. The parking was unreal. All right, we just walked through the little gates. There's a show at, is it a show at 1.30? So oh. I mapped it all out and it's at the market stage. So we need to figure out, I think there's a map right there. So it looks like we came in up here and the market stage is all the way in the back. So we're gonna have to walk through all this. Oh, you got a small one. It's all the way in the back. Market stage. All right. We have about four hours because we got here later today. It's usually what? 10 to 5.30, but we got here around one. There's an escape room. We have to find the market stage. Here's just another area of, wow, welcome to the Enchanted Forest of just everything. Like this video is we're gonna have to dive in a little deeper after we catch the show didn't know what to expect yeah i mean it's packed there are so many people here but after the market show then maybe we can dig in a little deeper to some of this stuff i think we made it all the way to the back and it says yeah market stage wow <laughs> right on time too now what's this one this is the um the washing well wenches PG-13, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Here, here's the sign for it. All right, so we made it back here and like the overflow seating. Let's see what this show is. That's still going on, but since we haven't been able to walk around anywhere yet, we're gonna pause on that show and walk around and see where what everything is. Um, when they say PG, it is <laughs> slightly inappropriate, so just know that going into it. So the stage was over here. We're gonna walk kind of behind it along this path. Now, the one thing we're super excited for is the jousting, so we definitely don't want to miss that. Um, not sure what all we'll have time for. 
I don't know if the video will show it too well, but I mean, look how massive this is. I don't think so. I don't it goes yeah. all the way. I'd be curious to see this actual acreage this place is on, because it's huge. There's also some kind of like, what is that, like axe throwing? Yeah, axe throwing. Right here, you can hold a pig for $3. Is there a mini pig in there? Battle axe throw, $5. Spear throw, whoa, never seen that before. Wow, archery, that's pretty cool. Also, make sure you wear your <laughs> boots out because definitely a little muddy. Over here, there's camel rides and pony rides. And I'm guessing the jousting arena is gonna be up here. You can see on this sign, tournament field, at 215 full contact joust. So that's coming up very, very shortly. So we're gonna have to try to find a spot because everybody's already lined up for it as well. So it's in about 20 minutes and you can see everyone that is waiting to see it. Okay, we moved over here so we can get a better view. Just looking at their little map, here is all the events they have going on. All right, just trying to get our bearings straight here. This is where we entered. And I think we pretty much just like walked like that then we walked where's the right. tournament okay yeah so we walked this way to here and i mean we've missed all this so i think the, after this we'll go look at all of that yeah we're gonna try to hit all of this stuff to see what's going on there's a show over here that we want to see and then a couple of other musical shows yeah also this year's theme i don't know if i've mentioned it yet or not scottish versus english so William Wallace, Braveheart, that kind of thing. All right, we have a horse out here. About 15-ish minutes until it actually gets going. If you can hear the music, there is a parade coming through. Might be able to see it, I don't know. There we go. Look.
Okay, that was awesome. Look at all the people. That was intense. I had no idea they were gonna hit each other that hard. Broke, yeah, that was that was cool. Here's some Monty Python outfits we've got here. That's hilarious. What, what, are, what are we doing? Um, we're going to head toward the um, human combat chess huh. area. All right. That way. <laughs> now they do offer like multiple day passes. We did not get one. We got a single day ticket. I can see why people would want to come multiple days. It is. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. We're not going to get to see near and what we need to today. Each weekend has kind of a different. So the overall theme is Scottish, you know, Battle of Falkirk. But each weekend has a different theme in and of itself. I think this one's like Highland hijinks. Last week was like plaid or something like that. So each weekend even has its own thing yeah. going on and different yeah. events. I mean, everywhere you turn, there's a show going on. Look at this show. All of these vendor tents. Over here, they're throwing tomatoes at this guy. Oh. Come on, little girl. Really? Wow. What's your name? What's your name? Wow. That was hurt. This this is hardcore. This is insane. <laughs> I feel like I'm oh, there you like go. Chair massage. This is instant. <laughs> We're going to attempt to try to find some food. I mean, it's not hard to find the food. It might just be hard to actually wait in line, wait in line and get the food. You could buy a ton of stuff here. Really? Yep. We will have to look at that. This must be the food court. Turkey legs has quite the line, so it must be very, very popular right now. There's pizza, barbecue. All right, we're gonna hop in line for pizza because it's the shortest line. They do have the giant euros. That line's pretty solid. Cheeseburger, souvenir cups. Ooh, we will have to see if it is cash only or if it's card as well. It's not confirmed, but all I see is people paying with cash, so I think it's cash only. There are ATMs around where you can get cash. We nailed you, Dad. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so funny. They have so many Monty Python oh, look at the characters, jokes. Oh, wow. There's more. 
food over here. All right, we're gonna go to the ATM first, actually. Okay, I got some cash, so now we're gonna get back in this line. They have grilled cheese, jester chips, quesadillas. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. As you get closer, you can actually see, here's the prices on this menu. Okay, so you got a PB&J on white with grape. No, nope. strawberry. With strawberry. You can choose between strawberry or grape, white or wheat. And then I got two grilled cheese. We're gonna head towards the human combat chess. Okay, here we are for the chess. It also said PG-13, so...
Holy cow. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah, so I think we've underestimated the uh, accuracy of yeah. all of this. Cause... Yeah. Ooh. That was insane. Oh, all right, now we're going to... Oh, we got something going on here. Playing some games. That's hilarious. They have all this stuff. Wow. It's getting a little chilly, yeah. Passing by the tomato guy again. I mean, I feel like that's going to hurt, right? Just for reference, there's the food court area, and we watched that game of chess here. Here's the tomato guy. Back over here is where we started the video. They've got these. Oh, wow. Now that we know where everything's at, it still is very large, but it's not quite as confusing. Now, it'd be nice to get here, obviously, earlier and walk around first to get yeah. your bearings. Yeah, it would be. This is where we came in. We're, start we're starting to figure it out now. This is... <laughs> you a little chilly? Chilly day in Florida. All right, what's all... We didn't really get to explore up here much, so let's, let's look. I mean, I, there is just anything and everything around here. Oh, here we go. Here's where we can get some armor. Nice. Was this where the... Is this the show coming up? Celtic Legacy? All right. Souvenir tents over to the right. So we definitely want to watch that. Look at that as we leave. Let's do another lap. And right there is where we came in. So it's all making... A lot of sense now when we first came in and we're rushing to get the uh to the show definitely wasn't making sense also here is the restroom it's all porta potties or as they call it privies privies i also want to say you'll remember this some people may some people may not this reminds me of a real life runescape the old computer game played it all the time as it when up we were kids and it reminds me of it like, I want to go cut down a tree and get some wood so that I can boost that. Yeah. <laughs> boost my crafts, craftsmanship. I also want to grab a sword. And, like, they used to have those, like, giant scorpions and spiders. Kill one of those. Then you get your combat up. So that's definitely what it feels like. Wow, they've got some awesome hats. That's, like, pure, genuine leather. They have a lot of outfits. A lot of outfits. I guess let's go right. This guy's got a big horn to drink out of. That's pretty cool. And like, it looks like I need to go like trade beaver pelts, you know? Oh, there's the armory. Hey, this is all Viking stuff. Oh, this is Viking? Heck yeah, it's Viking stuff. Wow. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, and this is where we ate just a little bit ago, so. Sounds like there's another show going on. The guy behind me here that's hand making all of his like staffs, definitely straight out of <laughs> RuneScape. That was, that was the most authentic guy I've seen here. I'm pretty sure he just took a branch and just started like making them. I don't know what, are they like, yeah, they're like. He's just picking up branches from around and he's just whittling staffs. <laughs> you <that's>, shall not <laughs> pass. That is, that's legit back there. Wood stuff. Well, there, look, there's just see it's like runescape there's just fish laying there that's funny here's the little pigs little tiny baby pigs little tiny baby pigs <laughs> do you want to hold it do you want to hold a baby pig you want to purchase a baby pig i want if i went and held it i would want to purchase it gotcha so it's probably gotcha huh got some vikings Maybe a show or something, I don't know. Oh, we gotta watch our head here. Oh, play place. Look at their little unique chairs. There is just so much to do. It's pretty cool, the spear throw. That's pretty unreal. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Oh, it's hardcore. Kettle corn. 
And again, there's more events that like shows, shows and, and stuff that run throughout the day. Like I said, we got here at like one o'clock and it closes at five thirty. So if you get here when it opens at ten, there's an opening show and a lot more shows spaced out throughout the day. And they do multiple multiple of yeah. each. Yes. Show. Yeah. And in case you get lost, we got all these signs. Maybe they were setting up earlier for the show because they're playing now. The last stop is gonna be through the exit here. And, oh, look at that, that's cool. Recycle thy program, boom. It's this little souvenir shop. Sarasota Medieval Fair. Some hats, shirts, and shot glasses. Pretty cool. And then that brings us to the entrance. A little bit ago, we came through these, through the big gate there. And they've got this little sign to take a photo by. I didn't show much of this when we walked in, but I mean, the parking lot stretches all through here, all the way down here. I'll show you another and like, shot of and it. Like, and, like, and, like, and, <laughs> and back that way, we parked way down here. Anyway, they do it every weekend in November, and each weekend has a different theme. All right, here's another preview of how big this parking lot is. We actually parked around this corner up here, all the way over there, and there were still a bunch of cars lined up this way as well. All right, that was our trip out to the Sarasota Medieval Fair. Holy smokes. You're the one that originally found it. I did. I appreciate it, because that was 
That was like we were in our own little village. I've always wanted to go to like a Renaissance fair, so I was just looking up ones that were kind of coming up, and this one popped up. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. I think next time what we can do is get like a multi-day pass so we can actually see some more of those shows and um, get here when it opens too. They also have the farewell ceremony. I'm not going to see this time, but yeah. opening and closing ceremony that I bet is I bet is good because their shows were fantastic. Oh, okay. So, what was your favorite part? oh the how they did all the blood splatter and the uh, chess, the combat chess, the combat chess. Yeah, That's so funny. yeah, but what was yours? Um, I like the jousting because like that's that was just not something you ever see. Real. Yeah. yeah. But I liked the last show, the Celtic Legacy. Yeah. Like they were fun. Mm -hmm. I liked when they did the pirates oh, cool. music. Um, hopefully, if anybody that runs this is watching, one of these days, maybe you already did, maybe you haven't, do like a Hobbit Lord of the Rings festival. I'm game for that. <laughs> That'd big be great. Fans, I mean, it kind of was like it anyway with everybody dressed yeah. up and stuff, but... Overall, loved it. It was fantastic. We'll be back and we'll year. be back another time. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.